Okay, folks, we're back down here on uh, the coast of South Carolina at Cherry Grove Fishing Pier. And just made a quick trip down here this weekend. This ain't gonna be a long video at all. Uh, just to kind of check on the progress of the pier rebuilding. It was damaged by the hurricane last year and uh, it has been closed. Didn't even get fish on it when we came down in May. Uh, so it's been closed for, goodness, I guess since the hurricane. Uh, they actually did let you walk out on it a little ways. Uh, the part that wasn't damaged and then they shut the whole thing down to rebuild so the rebuild has been going on for a long time hopefully it'll be done by the spring Okay, as y'all know from some of my past videos, I've done a lot of fishing on that pier. In fact, we have some videos uploaded on our channel from that pier. Um, it was hit by Hurricane Ian last year, and the rebuild has been much slower than what they said. We were actually hoping it would be ready by spring when we came down for Memorial Day. It was not. Then they were saying by the fall, and I have to back up because the waves coming in at my feet. <laughs> and I don't want to get my feet wet, so I got to back up just a little bit here. And here we are in November, and it's still coming along, but at least it is pieced together. Last time we were here, there was a gap in it, I think. Or at least, the, was there a gap yeah. all the way to the ground? I know there was. I, th I think there was. So it's building back. But anyway, hopefully it'll be built back better and stronger. And, you know, a lot of the places, I know Flagler Beach here in Florida is going, they said they're gonna rebuild a concrete pier. I, I don't know why you'd rebuild a wood pier on the beach. This is gonna happen every couple, of, every few years, you know what I mean? Right. Or some kind of damage, but. At this time, I want to give you an above view of the reconstruction project that is going on at the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier on Cherry Grove Beach in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, as you can see, the pier sustained severe damage from Hurricane Ian last year. Uh, the rebuilding project is going much slower than what they initially said. We actually had hopes that it would be open by Memorial Day of 2023, and here it is November, and you can see there's still a lot of work going on. There's a lot of equipment out there, a lot of uh, wood, and you can see right there where it looks like the older wood is going to be replaced. A lot of uh, boards ripped up there, uh, people out there working even as we're filming this video. So the pier is 985 feet long, and uh, I got a lot of memories on that pier. We usually fish the right side of it. When I go out there in the morning, I usually go about three quarters of the way out and then uh, cast from the right side. But here you see the end of the pier. Uh, that's where I go at nighttime. I've stood out there many, many nights on that pier and uh, caught the Atlantic sharp nosed sharks. They usually run about three foot in length and they just come in at nighttime to feed. So uh, they got a nice deck up there on top of that pier. It's one of the nicer fishing piers. Uh, that you'll ever see just because of that observation deck people go out there who are not fishing and they just sit on it so um, it's a good long pier it goes out into the ocean almost a thousand feet and i just want to let you see what the reconstruction project looks like it looks like there's still a lot of work to be done but i'm really really hoping that they do get it done by the time we go back at memorial day of 2024 looking forward to getting back out there and doing some fishing on the cherry grove fishing pier in north myrtle beach south carolina anyway um i don't know what they got going on way down there it looks like another one doesn't it like a pier or something 
I'm not sure. I don't know if they're uh, moving sand or what they're doing, but we'll be down that area a little bit later. But here we are on Cherry Grove Beach. Um, this is probably the closest beach to our house, I guess, or one of them. South Carolina. And for to be November, it's a mild day. It's been Very. It's cold last week uh, at home and then mild today, or mild last few days of this week. But anyway, just kind of wanted to, while we were down here, we had to come down anyway, just want to check on the progress of the pier. Hopefully by our trip and, and Memorial Day, it'll be ready to go because I, I missed getting to fish there this year. And I have always enjoyed being up under a fishing pier and recording the waves up underneath it. Not too many good waves today though. This is the Driftwood Cafe. If you want some oceanfront dining, uh, it's been well over 20 years since we've eaten there. It wasn't even called that then, so I can't tell you anything about the food. Um, but if you want something on the ocean, that's certainly a good option. There's a couple of oceanfront places right here on Cherry Grove. We drove all the way up to the very northern tip of Cherry Grove Beach, and this is about the only public parking right here. You can get three or four cars in there at best. And after that, you pretty much ain't supposed to park what? Is that a real bird? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got Since you asked that on recording, I gotta zoom up on that. No, that's not a real one, I'm yeah. sure. It's awfully still. I just had to look up and saw that. It's huge. Yeah, she thought that was a real owl, folks. Anyway, what I was gonna say, is there's a little area up here called Hog Inlet. Uh, nice name, but it's actually where um, Cherry Grove Beach ends and the inlet from the Atlantic comes in. It's kind of a neat little place. It's just hard to find parking up here, but since we're here in November, we were able to do that. Um, so, show you a little bit of the public walkway out through here. Nice little shady area right here it's a little bit of a walk through here so the dog prohibition uh, between 10 and 4 is just uh, Okay, it says May 15th through Labor Day, so I guess May to September. Okay. And don't mess with the sea turtles. Dogs must be leashed at all times and pick up after your dog and keep off the dunes. So anyway, we walk this little walkway through here.
and I'm hoping this is smooth while I'm walking. Again, this is the new camcorder that uh, actually has a built-in gimbal inside the unit. You don't even have to purchase a separate gimbal for it. So I'm hoping that's remaining pretty steady. I'm sure it's not perfect, but it's got to be an improvement over before. Okay, up there is the point up at the very end of Cherry Grove Beach and Hog Inlet where it comes in. So we're going to walk on up there and let you see that. Now that pier you see in the distance, that is not the Cherry Grove Pier. It's um, up at the north end. It actually is connected with a private resort. So I think you have to stay there in order to use that pier. But I will say the uh, that pier was almost totally destroyed in the hurricane and looks like they've already rebuilt it. So. I think Sea Cabin's the name of the place. I'm not sure about that, but if you're interested in staying at a place with a private pier, you might want to look that up. There are only two piers on Cherry Grove Beach, and Cherry Grove Pier is a public one, and that's, I want to say it's Sea Cabin, and you have to stay there to use the pier, but here's some of the dunes that they don't want you to walk on. We came out here two years ago and tried to film a sunrise. It just was not a really good morning for a sunrise. Uh, it was still pretty to watch, but just it was kind of cloudy and overcast, but And who says they don't have fall color at the beach? I never had even thought about stuff like that turning. So this is quite a contrast from what we've been doing. You know, October is always a very busy video month for us because of the fall colors that we are so blessed with in our mountains. And I don't know, this is definitely a change of scenery from what we've been seeing over the past month. And Shaughnessy is down there walking the dogs. I guess it's more compacted down there and easier walking for her, so. What I found. Well, you better not found a shark's tooth. No. Good. I'm only allowed to find shark's teeth. Remnants of a blue crab. Oh, wow. Look at that. I'd say that's a blue crab. <laughs> yeah. He had some pretty good size claws on him, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I wonder what happened to him. I don't know. That's the only part I found of him. All right, so we are up here at Hog Inlet right now. And this is like the very northernmost point on Cherry Grove Beach, South Carolina. And we're actually looking up now towards North Carolina. This is not very far from the state line at all. I don't think that first little area right there of the trees is North Carolina, but I think the state line is just kind of like maybe right there. I've looked at this on Google Earth before but out there in the distance is North Carolina. Going up towards uh, Calabash, Sunset Beach area. Uh, I apologize, I'm having a very difficult time seeing my LCD screen right now. It's very bright out here. Try to zoom back out a little bit. Maybe a 10 minute walk from where we parked. Not bad. 